um, consequences that don't seem effective within the school system, sending people to the principal's office or especially the counselor's office for problem behavior does not tend to be effective. Sending a child home for most kids, sometimes it's necessary to protect the other kids in the environment, but as an inv intervention plan for that specific child does not tend to be effective because most kids with problem behaviors don't want to be at school anyway. Removing access to an end of the week fun activity, for example, a field trip, does not tend to be effective for most of our kids. Why? See if you were listening. This is a quiz. It's too far away. It's outside the event horizon, right? And so it's at the end of the week and I'm seven and impulsive or I'm five and just fine either way. I know it's coming and I really care about it, but it's too far out of my event horizon for me to control my behavior in the here and now. So it's not gonna be effective. Also losing access repeatedly to the same activity repeatedly over and over and over again, losing recess over and over and over again, losing choice time. Why is that one not effective? <laughs> yeah, it's not motivating anymore because I remember back when vaguely I got that, but it's been so long I kind of have forgotten about it and it's not particularly motivating anymore. So any anytime you find that a child is repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again, losing the same privilege, you gotta worry that that privilege is gonna become less effect. <laughs> Questions, thoughts, comments, debates, arguments. I had one quick question about yeah. um, the timeout and the, like if they're screaming uh -huh. and letting them back in. Um, you just kind of mentioned, you know, it, Obviously, you know, it doesn't have to be a certain amount of time or whatever. Oh, well, it should be a certain amount of time. It just doesn't have to be a minute per year of age. It should okay. always be, in my opinion, it should always be a certain amount of time. We don't want to get into you sit in timeout until you stop screaming and then you can get up because that's not teaching what we want it to teach. What we want to say is timeout is always going to be two minutes and I'm going to set the timer and when the timer dings, you get up from timeout. And you're going to get up from time out if you've been sitting there quietly, if you've been screaming your head off, if you've been kicking the wall, it doesn't matter. So what that's saying is the consequence is the consequence. Um, and you're not going to get out of it quicker, but you're also not, I mean, we're not going to attend to the behavior there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So they get to come back regardless of what behavior was happening. When the timer dings, as long as they remained in the timeout spot, then they get to get up. And they stay safe. And that's, I think, especially true when you're shaping a timeout behavior. I mean, as you get a better timeout behavior shaped up, then I think it's safer to start to incorporate those other expectations in. But you don't want to do it at first as you're shaping it up because then it just becomes impossible to effectively police it without inadvertently attending to the wrong stuff. Does that make sense? So, so once you get a kid who will go and sit in timeout, and he will sit there all the time, and you don't have to return him, and you can withdraw your attention, but he's being a noisy little booger, and the neighbors are complaining, then you can then you can start introducing a different expectation and say, okay, new rule, you know, and and you tell them this not when they're in timeout, but ahead of time. New rule for our timeouts: um, the timeout will start over if you become noisy. And so I won't say anything to you. I'm just going to go, you'll see me. I'll go there and I'll tweak the timer and it starts over. But I'm not going to say anything to you. I'm not going to say, okay, now you did it. Now you're noisy and so you got five more minutes. So you can, you can raise the expectation after you've built better behavior.